Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Soap Vault. Today I'm going to show you on how to set your availability within your calendar. You'd want to set that up if you've enabled online booking because your patients are going to need to see when you're available. As well, if you worked in a multi-practitioner clinic, the frontline staff, they'll need to see all the practitioners calendar and when they're available. So what we're looking at right now, we're looking at Ryan's calendar and the gray represents uh, when he's available and the colored squares represent where he actually has some appointments booked. So we're going to click on the availability button and you can see that the color sidebars here still represent the appointments that he has booked in and the gray background is the availability. So Ryan comes today and he says well, I can uh, do a shift this afternoon from 3.30 to 5 and we're going to put that availability in and quickly click save and now available uh, now Ryan is available to, from, to work from 3 30 to 5. He also lets us know he can work for the next 10 weeks from 12 o'clock until 2 o'clock and we're going to repeat that so he said he can work 10 weeks so we're going to repeat it uh, every week for 10 weeks and we're going to click and we're going to save and so now that availability um, on Fridays for the next 10 weeks um, is recurring and this is what this little symbol means. If we needed to edit an availability, so if Ryan says tomorrow I can only work um, uh, till 2, you can quickly drag that and you can move that availability as well. And I've moved it actually to 225. So you can, you can edit it by moving it or you can edit it by clicking it and he actually says this time he can work a bit later and we're going to put him in a bit later and we're going to save it. So that's how you set up your availabilities and you edit your availabilities and if you want to go back to the calendar you click the button and you're back into the calendar. Thanks for using Soap Vault and happy charting. Thank you.